Hey my friends, welcome to Greystone Students. I'm Reggie. I'm Holly. <laughs> and so this week we couldn't not talk about what happened on Monday. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. Star Wars, incredible series. If you haven't seen it, that's ridiculous. Well anyway, we're going to jump into some battles. Um, what's the name of the game? Battlefront? Battlefront. Remember that? If you didn't know, we're going to have some wars and we're going to, I got my teammate Vanessa and Holly, who's your teammate? Holly. All right, and so we're gonna have a showdown right here, right now. Get ready, Holly. <laughs> That's not how it happens in Star Wars. Redemption. <laughs> Star Wars, but I do know we're glad you're here. <laughs> What's up, Greystone students? We're so glad you were here with us tonight. You know the drill. We're about to sing together online. Um, wherever you are, just lift up your voice and let's praise the Lord together.
Well, my friends, that was an epic battle, <laughs> you know, but hey, somebody has to lose. But Carly, winner. you're our winner. She's on our team, so we all win. You know, we all get yeah. to <laughs> Uh, but in all seriousness, you know, what does Star Wars have to do with what we're talking about tonight? And honestly, it's a war that we have within ourselves, um, not necessarily with other people. And so the idea we're talking about tonight is forgiveness and the idea of we are forgiving. And that's the truth. And, you know, as middle schoolers, high schoolers, we do some things that, you know, our, we don't want our parents to find out. Um, we steal other people's clothes. We steal <laughs> money. We borrow and just never give back, you know? And so some of those things, you know, catch up with us, but in all seriousness can weigh on our hearts. And the cool part is tonight, we just want to talk about um, the idea of forgiveness. And from Isaiah chapter one, verses 18. And I'm gonna pull it up on my handy dandy phone, not <laughs> notebook for the blues clues people out there. Um, all right, so Isaiah one, 18 says, and this is God talking to us. He says, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They, though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And simply put, it's just like, man, God knows we're not perfect. God knows when we make wrong decisions and make mistakes. Our, it, we have a stain on our outfit, on our spiritual wardrobe, if you will. And so God says, hey, you can't come to him like jacked up like that. You know what I mean? Um, but thankfully Jesus has gave an ultimate sacrifice and he lives within us and with us. And so when we do mess up, there's an opportunity to be forgiving. And so again, today we just wanna um, focus on the idea of, hey, I am forgiven, I'm made right with God and not to beat ourselves up. And so we have just some words of encouragement and just we'll walk through the Bible with that. And so Carly, yeah. what, what would you like to add to this conversation? Um, I'm just thinking about like as God forgives us, he also calls us to forgive others. So yeah. he tells us to forgive. It's not, hey, if you wanna do this, maybe sorta kinda, you should, if this sounds good to you. He calls us to forgive, he tells us to forgive. So therefore when we don't forgive others, it's souring our own hearts because we're being disobedient to the Lord. Um, so I think that's really important to think about. I know it's really hard sometimes people wrong us and we want to hold on to that yeah. But he calls us to let that go and so when we don't do that We're being disobedient to him therefore affecting our relationship with the Lord um, And so I think it's important to think about it like that and think about how great it feels when you're forgiven I know we've all yeah. been forgiven when we've done yes. something and we're like <laughs> I feel so much better like thank you so much to that person um, and so being able to be that person for someone else, I mean, is amazing and is what we're called to do and a way to show love. So I think that's something I, that's what I wanted to add. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I would chime in with like the thought that Carly was saying about how it can create this like bitterness and like sour taste in our hearts because I think of like, since we were kind of talking about Star Wars, I think about the sixth movie where um, if you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. Ridiculous. <laughs> but, <laughs> I love Star Wars, so I know it all. But um, I just think about the part where, you know, Luke realizes that Darth Vader is his father and he's confronted with, do I, you know, kill my father because he's evil? Like, what do I do here? And you just see them yeah. battling back and forth. But Luke just keeps coming to him with this attitude of forgiveness like there's still a chance like let go of your anger like you can be saved and even though Darth Vader does end up losing his life right before he does die he tells Luke like I'm sorry and he wants to be good and he let go of that anger and so when he did pass his spirit was with the rest of the other Jedi's and he like was able to go and be you know the way that he was before he let all that anger um, fester inside of his heart and so I feel like for us when we are trying to forgive others it's hard because we're stuck with all this bitterness of well they did this they said that like how could I let this go and if we keep holding that in we're just gonna be angry and bitter all the time and it's gonna lead down a really dark path and so God calls us to let go of that and we're not we're also not meant to carry that God wants to take that bitterness and that anger away from us and help us learn how to cope with it and so I feel like when we let go of that, it'll be easier to forgive others and it'll be easier for that person to even forgive themselves because they probably know, oh my right. gosh, I've done all these horrible things to this person. And so 
That's kind of what I would say about forgiving others and even forgiving yourself for something you might have done. Mm -hmm. There's there's always hope. So yeah, it's all yeah. it's contagious. You know, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, life will love. Yeah. Holly, what are you gonna add? Yeah, I was gonna say forgiveness is a process. It is yeah. not yeah. easy. It is not something that's gonna happen overnight. Mm -hmm. This thing may take a couple weeks. It may take a couple months. It for me in some places of my life it took years. Um, but the thing that I was struggling, I struggle with the most is something that Vanessa said is when you're wrestling with it within yourself, it's like inner turmoil is just raging inside of you. And the concept there is forgiveness is a process and that is, has to happen within our hearts, but forgiveness is life changing. Yeah. It takes you from a very dark, low moment and it's a step every single time that you say, God, help me, work with me in this forgiveness. I can forgive others, but I really want to forgive myself. And I speak into that from my personal testimony. The most beautiful part about the gospel for me is the fact that I can come as myself, literally as the messiest thing possible. Um, but I'm so hard on myself. Um, there are times where I'm standing on stage leading worship um, and in between songs I think am I even worthy of being on this stage am I even worthy to do what God called me to do and it's humbling like you said Vanessa like it's humbling to say like I can't do this on my own so if I don't trust in the Lord to forgive me if I don't trust in the Lord to work in the forgiveness from the inside out to others then what's the point of even walking this earth? Like what's the point of even leading others to Christ if it's not a humbling moment where we are human, we are flesh, we are gonna mess up. But the beauty is the mercy that we have from the Lord that's meeting us where we are in our low points and our messiest stages of life. And in quarantine, I gotta tell you, I've had some. Woohoo moments and I've had some uh, <laughs> moments. <Yeah. laughs> but they're like it's a season and it's all about the steps. It's all about the obedience. And yeah. you can't do it without taking that one step. What it doesn't have to be a big you know? Yeah. <laughs> it just has to be like just a little step. Just a in step right of direction. faith. Yeah, in the right direction and saying, God I need you to work in me. I need you to f teach me to forgive myself. And it's not going to be something that is like, oh, I got it every single day. It's going to be an everyday thing, like yep. one moment at a time. There are moments, some days I'm like, oh, today is good. Today is good. <laughs> and then other days I'm just like, one thing I just messed up my day. I'm being whiny. But anyway, it's fine. <laughs> The process, it's a process, and you have to trust in the Lord with that. We just sang Reckless Love, and I want to just say the lyrics, and you can sing it if you want to as you leave here today. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. It chases me down in those low points, it fights till I'm found, and it leaves the 99. He's pursuing you, and he's coming after you. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it, and still you give yourself away. That's what he did on the cross. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. He doesn't care what you did. He's coming after you, and he wants to pursue you. So, kind of went off on a rant, but, <laughs> no, it's, but it's so good, it's so good. You guys, so. two claps for that, right? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> So, no. do we have anything else here that we need to? No, just say? feeling good. Feeling yeah, good. yeah. The freedom, yeah. you know, is the biggest thing. Um, God wants us to have. He doesn't want us to walk around in bondage. So, mm -hmm. friends, experience the joy of freedom. Mm -hmm. And Holly, would you pray for us? Yeah. So, guys, wherever you are, bow your heads with us, and I pray if this is a moment of surrender for you, take it. Yes. Take that step of obedience. So, God, we just want to thank you so much for who you are. And just being a God of love, being a God of truth, God of faithfulness. Because God, you keep your promises and no matter where we are in our stage of life, 
you meet us in those moments. And I just pray that we embrace them. We don't shove them off, we embrace them. And if that's a moment for someone here today, I pray that they embrace you, embrace your forgiveness, take that step of obedience. If that's forgiveness for themselves, or for others, but God, no matter what, when we confess and we reach our arms to you, you forgive us. And I pray that extends to, our, to the others and to ourselves in, in our lives. God, your mercy, your grace is a beautiful thing. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve your love. We didn't deserve what Jesus did on the cross for us. But because your love is so big and is so mighty, it just raged across the waters and found us in our lowest valleys. We just thank you. Thank you, God, for that freedom, for that victory. We thank you for Star Wars. <laughs> we thank you for the fun that we can have in this place today. And God, I just know that you are going to change lives in this season. And I just pray we trust in that. We thank you for who you are, God. We thank you for your, your beauty. And we love you. And we pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. 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 We love right. you guys. And we miss you. Until next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. <laughs> no, no, no. Redemption. <laughs> <laughs>